Nerves originate from the spine. It provides sensation to the skin and it allows motor power to the muscles. When nerves are injured, these structures are affected. Winging of the scapula usually occurs due to long thoracic nerve injury. Axillary nerve injury. It usually occurs due to dislocation of the shoulder. It decreases the sensation over the deltoid muscle. It also decreases abduction of the shoulder. Anterior interosseous nerve injury occurs due to fracture dislocations around the elbow. Patient cannot do the OK sign. Posterior interosseous nerve injury occurs due to mantegia fractures. The patient cannot extend the fingers. Radial nerve injury. Patient will suffer from a wrist drop. It usually occurs in fracture humerus. Median nerve injury usually occurs with carpal tunnel syndrome. The patient will have numbness of the fingers, Fallon test will be positive, Tinel test is also positive, with thinner atrophy, patient usually require carpal tunnel release. A skin incision is made and the transverse carpal ligament is opened and the median nerve is released. Ulnar nerve injury usually occur in cubital tunnel syndrome. The patient cannot cross or abduct the fingers. From and test is usually positive. There is also numbness of the little finger. Claw hand will occur in low ulnar nerve palsy. Cubital tunnel syndrome is usually treated by ulnar nerve release or transposition. The femoral nerve supplies the quadriceps muscle that extends the knee. Injury to that nerve will result in weak extension of the knee. The patient will be unable to extend the knee. The sciatic nerve has two branches, the common peroneal and the posterior tibial. Injury to the common peroneal nerve will result in a foot drop. Posterior tibial nerve injury usually occurs in tarsal tunnel syndrome and result in a numb bottom of the foot. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.